When a car and a truck collide, the car is at a serious disadvantage. One particularly devastating type of crash is when the car slides underneath the back of a heavy trailer. Our new research shows the trailer manufacturers are fitting their trailers with underride guards better designed to prevent this, but some manufacturers still have some work to do. So the Institute recently tested trailers to see how well their guards prevented underride in a 35 mile an hour crash to the back. There were trailers from eight different manufacturers who together make up 80% of the heavy truck trailer market. Each trailer was tested up to three times at 35 miles per hour. There's a full overlap crash test, a 50% overlap crash test, and a narrow overlap crash test. All eight trailers prevented underride in the full overlap crash test at 35 miles per hour. All but one prevented underride in the 50% overlap condition, and only one managed to prevent underride in all three test conditions. That was a trailer manufactured by Manic and sold as Trailmobile in the United States. The federal government requires that heavy truck trailers be equipped with underride guards that are intended to keep cars from sliding underneath when they crash into the rear. The problem is that when guards are only designed to minimally meet that standard, they're not strong enough to keep that from happening in crashes even at speeds as low as 35 miles per hour. Modern cars have a crush zone at the front that's designed to collapse in a way that minimizes the risk of injury to occupants inside. But that only works in a crash with a trailer if the trailer's underride guard stays in place, as it has here. When an underride guard fails, it's a very devastating crash. The first point of impact is on the windshield, and then the top of the occupant compartment is sheared off. If the guard stays intact, the sensors in our dummies are telling us that the risk of a life-threatening injury is very low. In an earlier test conducted in 2010, the weakest guard was on the back of a trailer manufactured by Hyundai. We crashed this Chevrolet Malibu into the center of the guard at 35 miles per hour, and the guard was just pushed out of the way because the bolts holding it to the trailer broke. Had people been riding inside, they would have been killed. The redesigned Hyundai Guard worked much better. In the same 35 mile an hour crash, it held up, allowing the built-in crash protection of the Chevrolet Malibu to do its job. People riding inside would have been able to walk away without any serious injuries. All of the trailers in this series of tests had guards that met a Canadian standard, which requires that those guards be stronger than the current regulation in the United States. Even though the Canadian standard requires that guards be stronger than they're required in the United States, our research shows that cars are still vulnerable to underride when they hit the outer end of the bar. Outside the main vertical support, there isn't enough additional support to keep the bar from bending forward, allowing the car to slide under in a devastating way. Only one trailer prevented underride in all three of our tests, including the narrow overlap. That trailer was manufactured by Manic, who sell Trailmobile brand in the United States. Most trailers have the vertical supports for the underride guards close to the center of the trailer. The Manic engineers tried something different. They moved the vertical supports outboard, which makes the ends of the guard stronger. Designing underride guards to the Canadian standards is a good first step, but Manic engineers show it's possible to go much further. If all trailers had guards like the one on the Manic trailer, many of the lives that are lost to underride crashes could be saved.